Hello everyone, let's look at fraction word problems from Primary 6 Mathematics. And this is question 4. First, let's read the question. There are some raisins and chocolate muffins in a pastry shop. If 84 raisin muffins are sold, one six of the muffins left will be raisin muffins. If 56 chocolate muffins are sold, two fifths of the muffins left will be raisin muffins. How many raisin muffins and how many chocolate muffins are there in the pastry shop? Next, let's underline the key phrases for this question. So the first key phrase is that there are raisins and mu chocolate muffins in a pastry shop. So this is the two if question. So the first if is that if 84 raisin muffins are sold, one six of the muffins left will be raisin muffins. The next if is that if 56 chocolate muffins are sold, two fifth of the muffins left will be raisin muffins. So we need to find the number of raisin muffins and chocolate muffins in the shop. So we're going to use ratio method to solve this question. So when 84 raisin muffins are sold, one six of the muffins left will be raisin muffins. This means that ratio for after between raisin is to chocolate will be one unit for raisins and five units for chocolate. Six minus one will be equals to five. That is after 84 raisin muffins are sold. So the ratio for before between raisins and chocolate will be one unit plus 84 and the for chocolate muffins is still five units okay next the second if so this will be the first if and for the second if if 56 chocolate muffins are sold two-fifths of the muffins left will be raisin muffins so the number of raisin and chocolate muffins for before will remain the same so we use the ratio from the first if case to write for the second if case so raisins is to chocolate for before will still be one unit plus 84 and for chocolate will be five units next if 56 chocolate muffins are sold so we minus 56 then the ratio for after between raisins and chocolate will be two parts for raisins and three parts for chocolate from the fraction that is given here all right we use parts to differentiate these units and these parts okay for the before and after so how do we use this ratio for before and after we can form two equations from this first equation will be one unit plus 84 will be equals to two parts the second equation will be five units minus 56 will be equals to three parts so we are going to use simultaneous equation method next. So we make the number of parts equal by making these two equations into six parts. So you first for the first equation, you multiply by three. And for the second equation, you multiply by two. So this will be three units plus 252 plus equals to six parts. For the second equation will be 10 units minus 112 equals to 6 parts. Then we can combine these two equations to get 3 units plus 252 equals to 10 units minus 112. So we simplify this equation. We get 7 units equals to 364. Then 1 unit will be equals to 52. Once we know 1 unit equals to 52, we can replace this number of raisins before by taking 52 plus 84 and we'll get 136 so there are 136 raisin muffins for chocolate muffins we take 52 multiplied by 5 and we get 260 so there are 260 chocolate muffins so this will be the final answer 136 raisin muffins and 260 chocolate muffins are in the pastry shop. Alright, that's all. Thank you. Bye-bye.